First of all, the most important part is a coil over plug. It needs to be a two wire. Um, this particular one came from a Ford F-150, a 2004. Um, but you can see it, it's a, it's a two wire plug. Hard to see on this video, but there's a plug there and a plug there. Um, let, me, let me see if I can show it. There you go. There, two wire. Um, gonna want a spark plug, a pair of snips, snip, snip, and something to cut with, razor blade, or a even better blade. Um, thank you, Ashton Brown, Badger State. Blades, I believe it's Badger, Badger State Blades, Badger State Blades, Badger. Um, but anyway, uh, this is my favorite knife, and I got this from Ashton Brown. All right, let's jump right into it. First, we're going to pull the boot off. We're then going to figure out approximately where this spring needs to be cut. Um, when you push the, the spring in, you're going to want about that much space, just that tip of the plug. So I push this spring in, that means I want to cut it eh, right about there. So I will take these snips, get right in there. Supposed to be easy. There we go. Get it on there. And just cut her off. Now you can see that's about perfect. We're going to take this boot and figure out where we need to cut it. If you stick this plug in there, you can see. It goes just a little bit past the rib, so it goes to there. And then you need to take into account this much space. So if I hold this here, that goes to there. It means I'm going to want to cut this right about there. Let's get it cut off. Maybe. Nice knife. I'm going to take this plug and you see it fits pretty snugly in there. And we're going to take this. And we'll stick this right back on there. That still fits really nice and tight on there. You got your spring in there. You can barely see it, but. You take your plug, pop her in, and bam, you have a coil over plug. Only thing left to do is uh, make a little mount for it and get your wiring done. All right, so I found this little piece of metal um, that I am going to make work for a bracket um, I believe this is part of a overhead light fixture um, I just had it in my toolbox and I'm gonna make it work check it out let's plug our coil in stick it on there and kind of give her a twist She's on there nice and tight. Now you can see it's pretty floppy floppy. But I had already kind of figured this out beforehand. Whew. I need a cameraman. Who wants to be my cameraman? If I take this 
and I screw it in on there. Turn this a little bit. And I can get that and that screwed together and get that nice and tight. Um, I can't put these screws in while I'm talking, so I'll be back. All right, you can see how nicely this is going to work. Um, I can slide this back and forth to get it in the exact correct position. Um, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut it to make it look prettier, but I'm just going to show you that it it does work. All right, so here we have the the coil in there and we just slide that up a little bit and it line it'll line up like so and I'm going to take this here bolt Man, I need a cameraman, need a cameraman. Who wants to be my cameraman? Okay, we got that bolt through. Put a nut on this side. One-handed. Can't do the work or hold the camera. Get that on there. I'm going to set the camera down for a second and tighten it up. and I'll sh Look at that. Nice and tight on there. I mean, that's not going anywhere. You can plug your wires in here. And I'll demonstrate to you that it works in a minute. Um, I'm going to take this off and clean it up and make it look a little better. Cut this right here so that it just has the, the two mounting points. Um... You can find whatever you need to, to mount it. Uh, like I sh just showed you, it's it wasn't too difficult for me to to make this work. So there you have it. Everybody wants to see it spark. Uh, let me see how I can do this. This is a point where I really need a camera man. Because I'm going to have to do this no handed. boys and girls uh, that was just with stock wires I just kind of pushed them over the the pins in here um, I intend to go to the store and find some connectors that will fit those pins better but for now and for testing purposes I was able to do that just fine <laughs> 